What up guys, Rob from Cyber here with another DIY video. This is an SC300 1998 with a 1JZ GTE non-BBTI swap that we were working on in our other video. Um, right now we're gonna be getting ready for dyno for this Friday and we just did a bunch of upgrades. We have got the top mount turbo from Comp Turbo. We already went ahead and did the Turbo Smart Wastegate. The Peak Boost Manifold is already installed. Um, Already went ahead and put the plugs in, got on one of our super, super cool Cyrus Performance covers that we'll go ahead and put the camera and show you about in a few seconds. But this video isn't about that. It's about how to install a fuel pump in one of these vehicles. So the car currently was, was tuned originally on AEM V1. We went ahead and converted the car to AEM Infinity because, you know, we got to give them with the best of the best. So obviously we're going to be upgrading from that either, either that stock fuel pump that we don't know is in it or the customer claims it has a Wobble T55 in it. But the T55 isn't gonna make really crap for power. So we're gonna go ahead and put a Wobble 525 or Wobble 450, whatever we have in stock here at the shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it with you guys, show you guys how you're gonna remove it, how you get to it, how you install it, how you put it all together so that you can make some big power with your car. That pump is only gonna get you to about five or 600 horsepower depending on your mod list, but it is a great upgrade for very, very cheap and it's very easy to do. So let's go ahead and get into it, get it. All right, guys, so we got the door open. We got a nice shot of the interior. So what we're gonna be doing is right back here on the bottom of the seats, there's these little clips. You're gonna go ahead and pull up on the bottom of these two corners and slide that seat out. Once you get that seat out, there's gonna be a few bolts right here, 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 and here. There's gonna be four of them. When I get the seat out, I'm gonna go ahead and show you where those bolts are. I'm just gonna time lapse this real quick. And then basically you just slide the seat by pushing directly up and the back seats and everything else come out and it's very, very easy. You get a flathead, pop the cover off, undo all the bolts, pull it directly out, maybe one little hose clamp and you're out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick, try to set up the tripod so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing and let's get it. So here are the bolts that I'm talking about. If you look over there in the corner, you got one on the little rusty part. And you're gonna have two right here. There should have been one there as well, but there's nothing. And you have one here on the corner. So just a little close up of what's going on. What's up everybody? So for this job, you're gonna need a 12 socket with a ratchet or impact gun. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. And if you don't want to use, a, use an eight millimeter socket, you could also just use like an impact screwdriver to remove the bolts. So just showing you what you guys are going to be needing. So let's get it. cars to put pumps in because it's just so easy and doesn't take too long so back seat is out and that only took a few seconds so now for the next we have this little panel I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys inside so we got this panel right here. Of course, I don't know how I'm gonna get this to stay. Maybe we can put it here. So now, so everybody can see, this is how the back looks once you get the seats out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and pop this off with uh, anything sharp, or in the case of this one, it looks like it's already kind of been pulled. So look at that. Just literally put your finger, pop it off, and there you go. There's your fuel pump assembly right there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna stick you guys right here. And look, impact screwdriver or eight millimeter socket. It's 
is also a really good way to see if the tank has any kind of rust or contaminants or anything weird in the car. And peel it up. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look in the tank. It's like we're about halfway or all the way full. It looks like we've got a Walro pump in here. So, at least he was running on a fuel pump and what the guys told him when they sold him the car was not a lie, it was true. So, 10 millimeters, you have three of them. Try not to drop them because you're gonna have to replace them if you put them in there. So you're gonna get one, two, put them down here, three, and then the only thing about this, if you don't disconnect the top of the pump from the back and feed it through all the mess of crazy that that's there, is that the pump has to stay in the trunk as you're doing this. So. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna slide the clamps down to where they no longer touch it. Push out and down. And it's as easy as that. You just twist it. Come out like this, maybe let a little bit of the gas drain back into the tank if it's really full. And that's it guys. We got the pump out. So this is gonna be the same thing as a Mark IV Supra as far as wiring goes. Um, you're gonna have blue as power, black as ground, and you don't wanna get the resistor messed up, but Walbro 255 out. Let's get that 450 in. So here we got the Walbro 450 fuel pump that we're gonna be putting in this. And right now I'm just kind of checking out fitment. So what I always do in these ones is I just lift the tube a little bit. I can make enough room for this to be able to fit comfortably here. All right, everybody, so fuel pump is already set up on this and ready to go, already all fastened up, wired up. Like I had said, red to blue, black to black, and we're gonna go ahead and put it back in, so. Well, that concludes the DIY video for putting in the Walro 450 or 525 fuel pump into your SC300. It's not a very difficult job. You can do it yourself at home, and you can also build a car just like this yourself. You don't need to have a super crazy shop like me do it from start to finish. I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos out there to help you guys save a bunch of money on doing a lot of this stuff yourself. Obviously tuning and a lot of the fabrication stuff is gonna have to come into a shop, as if you know how to weld and program yourself, but I'm gonna try to help everybody out, keep this channel going and post a lot of, lot of really helpful things for all these cars. If you haven't seen, there's another video as well on my Mark IV Supra and selling a Walbro 450 and 525 too. I'm only posting these videos up because it's very, very simple to do this. I mean, 20, 30 minutes of your time, you can do this yourself and save yourself $100, $200 and buy a pump that retails for $220 plus for about $180 yourself online. So um, thank you for watching. Keep up with the channel. If you have any things you wanna see me do or wanna ask about just an easier way of doing them or anything that you want me to put on my channel, just go ahead and comment in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.